Good morning, everybody. It is currently 6.11 a.m. Yes, I am crazy, but I somehow love these early morning tea times. Today, we're going to be at a new course uh, playing 18 holes, and it's going to be a good one. I'm not going to spoil the course just yet. I'm going to go ahead and roll the B-roll. Alright you guys, welcome back and welcome to Costa Mesa Country Club. This is hole one. It's about a 380 yard par four from the white tees, driver in hand. And well, that's the first swing of the day. We got a hybrid to get it out. Not much better. Gonna go back to the old hybrid and see if we can get something as close as we can to the green. If not on, give us a putter chip. That one was definitely hit better. Things are looking up. There we go. Just got us 56 degree pitch in, trying to get something nestled up to the hole. I shoot it a little bit right and a little bit long. Now we got a crazy downhill break of a putt. Right idea. Oh. oh, and that one just misses. And then it rolls for about 10 miles. But we recover for double bogey. Okay. On to the next. All right, hole two. It's about a 115 yard par three. I think I had a gap wedge in hand. Just wanted to get it up on that top tier and I ended up shooting it a little bit long, which was a little weird for me. So I have this really hard chip trying to flop it there and I kind of duff it. See if we re can recover here for par. And we overshoot it, leaving us a putt back uphill that we end up missing and then taking our medicine for double bogey. But moving on to hole three. Hole three is gonna be another par four but it's gonna be a weird one. It's gonna be a dog leg right. So from the tee, it's about 240 yards to the edge of the left rough. You can take the line along the right side and hug those trees, and you can have, you know, just a 75 yard pitch in. You can even drive the green if you wanted to, if you were that brave, but I'm not brave. I'm gonna take a hybrid out here, I'm trying to play to the edge of that kind of had a little too much draw on it, kind of overcooked it a bit, but we're out on the fairway. Actually, it rolled through the fairway and into the left rough. So I just have a gap wedge in here, just trying to see what I can do. Caught a little bit of a flyer, and once again, this ball was headed just a little bit left, which left me a pin high pitch into the green. Once again, downhill, ball below my feet, which is never fun. Overshot this one a little bit too much. And then I have a long putt up the hill for bogey. Let's go, baby. Come on, that one falls. It's always a good feeling. I wish that was a par putt or a birdie putt, but you know what? We'll take it. All right, hole four is going to be another par four. It's going to be pretty short. A dog leg left this time. Just trying to get it out towards the trees over there on the left side. Seeing if I can turn one over like I did the last time because this one would actually help. This one I actually flew a little bit too far with no turn. Just a dead straight ball pretty much. Alright, so the second shot I had a pitching wedge in hand just trying to get it over these trees. Ended up pulling it just a little bit. And we ended up a little bit past the flag on the left side. So we had a pitch uphill that was straight downhill once it got to the uphill part, <laughs> which that is tough as well. Thought I hit this one pretty good. Once again, just a tad bit too much, leaving me another long putt to try to make. Thought I read this one okay, 
Hit it just a little too hard, left it a little too up. But that's okay, we got a little bit of a tester here for our bogey. Just gotta save it. Come on, Spencer. Alright, that one falls. On to the next. Hole 5 is going to be our first par 5 of the day. It's going to play about 500 yards. This one I had a 3 wood in hand, just not feeling my driver after that first time using it today. Ended up overcooking it again, too much draw on it. Had to get up and over these trees real quick. I had an 8 iron in hand just to kind of punch out onto the fairway again. This one was struck really well and I thought I honestly made it over the fairway, but we were center fairway. Less than 100 yards to go, got a 56 degree in hand. This one bounces right before the green, ends up going right on, leaving us once again a putt for birdie. This one's still pretty long though, I just gotta get it up there, tap it in for par. And that is the worst lip out I've ever seen. I mean, granted, I did hit a little too hard, but mm, hate to see it. All right, hole six is a very short par three. Directly into the wind is what this was playing. It's about 100 yards or so. At a 56 degree, not really taking into account the wind. I hit this one really good. It just never had a chance straight into the beach. All right, so I have to get it out, which I did, but you know, it could have been a better out, leaving me a lot of work left for par. This putt here, you know, just left it really short. Can't be doing that, but it's okay. We'll just knock this in for our bogey and we'll keep rolling. On to hole seven. It's gonna be another par five, just about 470 yards. Well, bummer, I missed. Finally a good drive by me. With about 260 yards to go, I take out my hybrid. Just trying to get something that I can pitch into the green. Since this is a shorter par five, I know that a layup is the smart move here. And this one is struck perfectly, just on the right side. Leaving me a pitch up to the green, which I left a little bit right and hit a little bit too long, but that's okay. Got a putt for birdie, you can just lag it down there for a par. And this putt was great speed, perfectly judged. Just a little bit too high, it didn't break like I thought it would, but that's okay, we'll tap it in for par. Hole eight is a short par three over the water. This one was just about 95 to 105 yards to the flag. I took my 56 degree, as I thought for sure I could get this one this time, and struck perfectly again. Thought this one was in the hole, but as you can see, it was short and almost rolled back into the water. Now we gotta pitch up onto the green, get it nice and close. And we did just that. See if we can knock it in for par. No, we pushed it. Oh well, bogey. Hole nine in the last hole of this two part video. Driver in hand, cause it is a 380 yard par four. Just trying to get something in play. Well, unfortunately we ended up behind this tree I was forced to lay up a little bit left, and honestly, I hit this one really good and left myself a good pitch up, and this chip was nice. Let's see if we can recover and make a putt. This one, I pulled and hit it a little too firm, and then this is just embarrassing. I cannot be doing that. Anyway, that's going to be the first part of this video. Stay tuned for the back nine and I will catch you guys in the next one.